So here we are, brand new Dell G5, 2019 model. We saw this at CES, it's been redefined compared to last year's model. The biggest noticeable difference is the hinge. This year we have a hinge that sticks out from the top to give you more support for the monitor. We still have the grill marks running across the sides of the laptop. And of course, if you buy this model, the special edition, you can peek inside to see the internals, which will give you a glimpse of the fans. Now, that's the only way to get the white models. If you buy the special edition, it costs a little bit more money, but you get a nicer paint job on it. The cool thing about this laptop is the Dell logo. It's blue in the middle, but depending on the angle you're looking at it, you get green reflections. Now this is not a light laptop, it's six pounds, so if you're carrying this every day, you might find it a bit cumbersome, especially when you compare it to the competition, they're slightly less making it easier to carry. Now, the one thing I like about Dell is how they house their ports. They took their inspiration from the Alienware lineup. So you have tons of ports on the back to keep your desk clean because the cables are not going from the sides, but they're going from the back, which makes it a little bit more visually appealing. On the left-hand side, we have your USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port, USB 3.1, and of course your audio combo jack. On the back, we have your power connector. This is a 230 watt brick. Full size HDMI, USB 3.1, mini display port, RJ45, this is 2.5 gigabits, and of course your noble lock. On the right hand side, you have another USB 3.0 port and a full size SD card slot. So getting inside is super easy, just remove a bunch of screws and the first thing you notice is blue running across the middle. Those are the heat pipes, this is what you see from the lid when it's placed on the bottom of the laptop. I like it, it kind of looks neat. The battery, 90 watt hours, getting about seven to eight hours of use if you put this on the Dell Optimize setting. We have two slots for RAM, but unfortunately they configure it with one 16 gigabyte DIMM. I would have loved to see two eights. This would give me dual channel memory. It would help speed up certain processes, specifically in some games, and most importantly, when you're doing more productive tasks like rendering files. Now you do have only one spot for a drive. This is an NVMe drive, it's an SSD, and it is ridiculously fast. Now you can configure the display with either 60 or 144 hertz. It's full HD, it's IPS. Color accuracy on the 60 hertz is actually pretty bad. I'm talking about panels that we used to use like two or three years ago. I don't know why they have such bad panels on these displays in 2019. It's fine for gaming, I just find it to be not as vibrant as other panels, but I wouldn't use this display to do content creation. If you're buying this, I highly suggest hooking it up to a more color accurate external monitor. Webcam. Still not the best. This is 720p. This is what it looks like. Fine for like streaming games because when you think about it, like your webcam is gonna be very, very small, but it's something I wouldn't want to have a video conferencing call on. Speakers are on the front of the laptop. They're not firing into your face, but more like into your breasts. You can still hear them, but it's not the best sounds. They're using an anamic equalization settings. You can fine tune them to make them a bit more pleasing, but they're not the best speakers, especially when you're at like max volume, you can hear a little bit of a distortion. Now, the big deal about this laptop is the performance. You're buying this because it has the RTX 2060. It's one of the best graphic cards you can buy right now for its price point. The problem is, this laptop overheats. It doesn't matter if I have it, have it in the balanced optimization or if I have it under performance mode, it hits 100 degrees Celsius, it stays there, it thermal throttles, it power throttles, and it can't keep the CPU cool enough. I don't know what it is with Dell gaming laptops. The last few Dell gaming laptops I've reviewed have been complete hot messes, and it makes me really hard to recommend these products. I mean, Dell puts a lot of time and engineering into these things, and there's a lot of great things going for it. But when it comes to gaming, having a CPU get this hot is inexcusable. Now, if you wanna put that aside for a second, frame rates were actually pretty good, very comparable to some of its competition, like the Asus GL504. But overall, I mean, the whole heating aspect of it just really takes away from the overall experience. So finally, we have the keyboard. It's not a bad keyboard. It's not my favorite keyboard for gaming. I actually find the keys to be a little bit too mushy and the space between them to be a little bit too wide. I do like the fact they include a numeric keypad. So if you're a student who needs to crunch some numbers, maybe you need to count like how many, I don't know, oranges you ate in a day, you can do that now. Uh, the touchpad though, 
Good size, lots of space to move around. It is using Windows Precision drivers, so very comfortable to use. The only thing I need to mention is that the deck is made out of metal to give it more of a premium feel, but this doesn't have per key RGB or any zones to configure. It's basically one color and that's it unless you choose a different configuration. So that pretty much wraps up my review of the Dell G5. It's too bad. There's a lot of things about this laptop I like. I like the build quality. I like the port selection. I like how easy it is to get inside, but the whole overheating experience completely kills this for me. I'd be really hard pressed to recommend this laptop to anybody right now. It just goes to say like the M15, like the Alienware R15 that I reviewed a couple years ago, they still have a very big problem with overheating and that needs to be fixed. Anyways, that wraps up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.